The Lord is the strength of my life. That is based on Psalms 27, verse 1. God conquers only what we yield to God. We have free will, so we have to surrender, we have to yield. And yet, when God does, when our surrender is complete, God fills us with a new strength that we could have never known by ourselves. God's conquest is our victory. Are you running a little short on willpower? Well, if so, perhaps you haven't yet asked God to give you the strength that you need and defeat the bad habits that are continually troubling you. God offers God's power to real people that are really filled with conviction that they want to have the strength of God. They want to yield to that strength. People that are wise enough to ask for God's strength, for God's protection, and for God's guidance in their lives. If your own power has failed you on numerous occasions, turn that weakness over to God. Have it go through a spiritual transfusion, and it will be a spiritual dialysis moving through you and filling you with power and vitality and willpower. If you've been having trouble standing on your own two feet, perhaps it's time to, to drop to your knees in prayer. If you feel stuck on the side of the mountain that seems like it's too steep to climb, ask God to carry you. And when you ask, sincerely, in faith, and without any reservation. God will answer. So today, ask the Lord of your life to be the strength of your life, and it will happen. I pray with you right now that God's strength infills you. I pray that you have a strength over your own will, that God's will takes over in your willpower. I pray that your willpower is strong. It's fortified by the divine that you have power to say yes to the things you should, no to the things you shouldn't. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.